This is the KRUI News at Noon, brought to you in part by the Daily Iowan. This is KRUI Iowa City. And for KRUI, this is News with Danielle Bernacki and Leo Peterson. Here are the headlines for this Wednesday morning. Debt ceilings for dummies, a new app violates the privacy of Snapchat users, and what's happening in Iowa City. Day 16 of the government shutdown, but today we talk about the debt ceiling. What is the debt ceiling? The U.S. government, for most of American history, has spent more money than it takes in. To make up the difference between what the government spends and collects in revenues, it takes on debt. That is, borrows money. If Congress fails to raise the debt ceiling by tomorrow, it is very possible that the United States could enter another recession, pot potentially a depression. The government actually reached the de debt ceiling on May 19th, but the Treasury Department has been using extraordinary measures, basically taking cash from other places, such as federal employee pensions, that allows the federal government to pay the bills. Debts aren't the only ceilings being raised. Despite the government shutdown, businesses continue to emerge and expand. A popular Wisconsin bar is coming to town. Well, maybe. A Wisconsin businessman wants to take the longtime vacant building downtown, once home to a field, the Fieldhouse Bar, and add Whiskey Jack Saloon. Whiskey Jack is a popular bar in Madison, Wisconsin that features a bar, restaurant, and live entertainment. However, Iowa City officials are shutting down the idea because it does not follow regulations of drinking establishments being 500 feet away from each other. One more reason not to send any more embarrassing or naked Snapchats to anyone. A new app called Snapchat allows you to save any and all photos and videos you receive through Snapchat without informing the person who sent it. The app is not affiliated with Snapchat and is currently available on the iTunes store for 99 cents. We tried it out and it really works, guys. You can see all your new photos and videos and even save them directly to your iPhone. All this happens without informing the person who sent the photos or the videos to you. Be careful, Snapchat users out there. Iowa City foreigners may be able to stop worrying about turning the wrong way down a one-way street. These one-way streets may be turning into two-way streets in order to make them more biker-friendly. According to a recent research by Johnson County's Metropolitan Planning Organization, drivers tend to go faster on one-way streets. This puts the increasing number of bikers at risk and also makes it harder for them to get to their location with the most direct route. Streets such as South Governor may be the first to change from a one-way to a two-way. Revolt rage. Twitter accounts erupted and a petition was started. When Sons of Anarchy actor Charlie Hunnan was announced as the man who would bring Christian Grey to life in the movie adaptation of the erotic book Fifty Shades of Grey. Looks like all the rebellion might have paid off. It was announced that Hunnan would no longer be starting in the film, according to The Hollywood Reporter. The search is now on for the second time, and many are asking who would be the perfect man to play Grey. A match made in heaven? Well, reality TV heaven has set a date for their wedding. Former bachelor Sean Lowe and his soon-to-be wife and winner of the show, Catherine Gucci, has announced their wedding date. On January 26, Lowe and Gucci will get married in front of friends, family, and of course, national television. Their wedding will be live for an ABC special. If they make it all the way down the aisle, then they will be one of four bachelor and bachelorette couples to stay together in 26 seasons. Bachelor fans are buzzing with anticipation for the live wedding and the January 6th premiere of a new Bachelor season. And now for What's, What's Up, up in IC? In conjunction with the celebration of October as LGBTQ History Month, the university has put together a string of free lectures by prominent LGBT supporters and advocates. Tomorrow night, catch Shane White. Meyer, a leading author on gay campus issues at the IMU Main Lounge at 8 p.m. And for you lecture literature gurus, watch your favorite play come to life on the big screen. The Engler Theater will be broadcasting Othello, the play, live from the National Theater in London. The broadcast will begin at 7 p.m. Admissions for UI students is $18 and, eight and $15 for adults. The Fashion Management Club is hosting a clothing drive today in the Papa John Business Building. They will be collecting clothes until October 23rd, and then they will host a charity fashion show on November 12th, where all proceeds will be donated to the United Action for Youth. Want to see your old clothes on a catwalk? Stop by the booth before 3 and clean your closet out of all those summer clothes because it is getting colder every day. Finally, a look at the weather forecast for Iowa City. Right now, the temperature is 50 degrees, but keep your umbrellas handy and rain boots near because there's a possibility of late showers tonight. 
And for KUR News, I am Leo Peterson. And Daniela Bernacki.